Uh, I'm doing all right, real. Hope you're doing okay. Thanks for the hundred bits. I'm just going over the T3s because gonna be giving them a brief. I uh, picked up a pop your dead body because I like the look of it. Yep. I rolled the one with the AFG on it. It's the. SP. But yeah, um, if anyone's nice, like Mox, for example, um. If you could go on to Twitch right now and see who else is streaming, because I know Biotech and Bleeds are streaming, apparently, and maybe Bad Wolf, I don't know, but if you could help me like make a bigger multi-Twitch, I'd really appreciate it. Can you see the hippopotamus? If I look very closely, I can, yeah. So I'm trying to give myself some prep time here. Check two and five zero. Bad Wolf, you mind the doing second dude? Good check. Bad wolf. Yeah, Gabby and I just happened to go the same color at the same time, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, those are the two team leads. Dip the teams out evenly, or it's being that you two won. <sighs> Alright, Lyra, what we got? Ground command, this is high command. Are you on that yet? Give me purple, granite. For sure, and 10. I guess that'll e be even. So the thing is, your guys' ops really rely on the twos, because if they, if we don't have twos to pull the AO, then you guys are going to get fucked. Well, that's going to need to be fixed, because we need someone in charge to handle coordination, because otherwise the threes are going to get fucked, or vice versa. AO is ready to go, so you're just kind of waiting on yourselves at this point. Hi, this is Apache crew. This is hi, Sun Traffic Apache. Copy, can you double check with Setters Engineers? We don't appear to be able to repair the Apache. You are, it's just been glitching the fuck out. I'll repair it this once, but please don't fucking fire K2 missiles on my fucking runway, thank you. You can blame my cruiser for that, I'm not that idiotic. Tier 2s, let me know when you have a representative on comms to hear the brief. How many 3s are there? Uh, we've got Bill and Sniper Wolf on with Auntie. I know. Gaby and a four is on, then we've got a good chunk of threes on. Don, I appreciate it. Don, you missed Malin, but I already got him in the multi Twitch, so I just have to do one quick edit here. KB and I'll pick er, no, Azariah, excuse me. Got it, alright. They're going off there. I thought we'll Snipe and I gonna, are gonna go green. <laughs> we have two more people. Okay. Right, cool just being like a sniper team or something. Yeah, have just, just Gaby and take them. Auntie, Pockets and Seymour, and then we can I just rock it like that. Laziness 10 out of 10, yeah, right? What exactly is a multi-twitch? It, uh, on one browser puts every single person that's streaming on it. You can tab between other people's chats. Alright. Sai, hit me with the 5 spot. Rumor has it you're doing more stuff with the 506 than you truth. Yeah! Oh, suit starts Tuesday. Oh, sad. I call it suit like an idiot. Hey, uh, Liru, I took ground command, so you got a rep on. This is high, Roger. Let me count the banana brigade. Uh, there is like 1.5 times more of them than you, which I find pretty funny, but you'll be both working on the same group. I'm gonna put this on yelling so all of you can hear me, but I'm also gonna be on, uh, 50. So, here's, here's the brief. All right, ground, three is local. This is your brief today, break. So, uh, some background information. Uh, we've put some uh, markers down. The blue one around the airfield represents our perimeter to make sure Boko doesn't come up and uh, hit our airfield. 
that's honestly great to have so that you know they don't camp AA next to our airbase. Speaking of AA, uh, Apaches have been doing wild weasel runs across the AO and have been slowly weeding out a lot of 23mm AA, but have been pulling back due to noticed radar signatures coming on uh, from the southern sides of this AO. Uh, we have confirmed sightings of CSAT based off of uh, Special Forces operations and therefore have represented this with a flag with a question mark by the Southern Airfield. We don't know specifically where CSAT is, but our technical teams have been working on a thesis break. If you notice on the bottom right of the AO, the southeastern corner, uh, we have noticed from satellite imagery some sort of disturb, uh, disruption field uh, spanning at around this circled area. This field merely represents an area where satellite imagery seems to not work in the form of it either shows nothing under it in terms of everything in the town of Masakali, is fine and there's no movement yet when we bring apaches or drones nearby it we have noted that there is a large tower like object over in the general marked area furthermore uh, we have confirmed with short-range drones that there is activity in this disruption field but compared with satellite imagery there is nothing there break We've also noticed a large amount of power fluctuations coming from the southwestern corner, specifically at the marked point power plant. Uh, we believe that the two events are correlated in some way. Right. So today we're going to be doing an operation deep within enemy territory. Uh, again, thanks to Apache Wild Weasel Runs, uh, AA around these areas should be non-existent. However, we have not done any uh, Wild Weasel Runs around these areas specifically due to the possibility of CSAT forces being nearby because of these strange phenomenons. Break. Today's objective will be done in two phases. The first will be the Tier 2s providing some sort of distraction over in the town of Danashiwa. Uh, they will be hitting a fortified Boko Haram position within this town. Uh, we do not know Boko's exact capabilities uh, due to uh, recon and other forces not being able to pick up any intel regarding it, but uh, all we know is that the twos will provide uh, uh, distraction for the three operation. Break. The three operation will be to infiltrate the power plants and eliminate all enemy forces and find a way to disable so, said power plant. Well Thermal signatures have shown that there are some sort of uh, civilian forces walking around the power plant providing maintenance to it, and a few Boko Haram forces around it. So be careful. Once the power plant is disabled, the Tier 2s can pull out of Phase 1. We're hoping that this also pulls Boko Haram forces around the AO to that position, making Phase 2 a bit easier, which is the town of Gedam Tishoko. Tier 2s again will assault this objective, and 3s will make their way to the large tower in the distortion field and try to figure out what it is. Break. 2s and 3s are able to assist each other in their AOs if they're needed. Again, the objective really is the power plant and trying to figure out the disruption fields. Uh, what the distortion field is, excuse me. Uh, however, uh, if the twos are getting fucked, threes could possibly send a detachment and vice versa. This is also why we're giving you an Apache today, as well as a break. Chinooks to complete this objective and move large amounts of forces across the AO. If anyone has any questions, please radio them over 50. And for you guys, just tell them to me right here. One second. Twos, you are to attack the towns marked as phase one and phase two. Do phase one first, otherwise phase two won't make any sense. Understood. Clarification. 
location on a situation. Is there AA uh, on our approach or uh, all AA eliminated? All AA on your approach is eliminated, pilots. I will say though there is an update to your threat report as to it appears Boko now has some guided ground-to-air missiles. We don't know, actually we can probably guess where they got them from, but that is just something to be aware of now. Basically, CSAT gave him eggs. And I'm also going to take these guys. Right. Anyone else have any questions? They're locally, um, how the fuck are we gonna get into the air? Is it just fucking we rocking with the other guys? I uh, probably rock with the other guys, get a pilot. Probably the Apache pilot though. It's no, it's Nano Star. It's Nano. Nano. Some C set guys in there because that's a C set cache. Well, 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 yeah, Mox, if you want to come in and pilot them, by all means. I want to. I want to. Uh, Sniper Bill, what do you think? Get eyes towards the west of town. If anything tries coming our way from the west, I'll try and get eyes towards the east on that road. Make sure that nothing comes in from our east. We are on the road. Yeah, we're going. Uh, can I get my squad leads over here? Epic, it's not really meant to be a knockoff Avengers carrier. Uh, I was. First, then distortion field. Yes, because otherwise, the, the, if you go to the distortion field right now, there's literally nothing there because the power plant. You'll find out why. Okay, if you want right. the, any. So, what I am modeling it off of is two things. One. I thought of originally the Avengers carrier, but then I thought, you know, with the fans, it would be impossible to do it properly because the fan textures tilt left and right and do clipping within the vehicle. So I decided to hold off on that. Instead, I went for a more sci-fi feel with ships. And I'm a, I'm a Homeworld fan. Love the game Homeworld, love the game Cataclysm. Homeworld 2, eh, to me, but uh, there's a technology... Push into the power plant of them once we're fucking. They're uh, telling their plan right now. There. We exfil back through that route. Pick up sniper and build on our way back. Sound good? I'm gonna come right here. Uh, there's a technology in Homeworld and Cataclysm called Cloak Fighter. And what it is, is it basically has a top sail and a bottom sail at about right here. So if I were to unhide these real quick. This this kind of gave me a little bit of a throwback because you have the top sail right here and the bottom sail, so I'm like, oh, okay, we can make a giant fucking cloak field. Because you know, CSAT would probably be trying to experiment with crazy shit like that. What also is nice is them finishing this AO up gives me time to start prepping phase two, and if I need to slow them down, I can throw um, QRF at them. So, let's give him a warm welcome. But I'm running both the tier 2 and the tier 3 up at the same time. Uh, so, you know, once we're done today, we're done with just that. Uh, after that, I've got a double dinner date with Bloodwain and uh, another friend. Uh, that's a couple. Yeah, it'll be fun. I haven't made a name for the carrier yet. I have covered the American flags with CSAT banners, though. A classic for me when I do uh, CSAT operations on the USS Freedom. How long will this op last? It'll be a two to three hour operation. All forces, this is high. Uh, due to the length of this operation, I am going to not make this a one or two life only op. Everyone has as many lives as they need to get it done. Just do note that the longer these AOs take, the more difficult it will become. You'll figure out why later. Out. So, to really break this down, CSAT's all over this fucking place. Uh, there's a bunch of camps around this area and shit. Ground for, uh, three uh, and then CSAT well, won't really the reinforce area. the power plant because they're kind of all consolidated uh, around here. And, and uh, Boko start. also That's will fine, just be pulling forces from other parts of this AO. You guys, it's better if we wait for you. 
All right. Well, they're they're still doing their in-game briefings. So let me actually. I wish I could put that down and garrison multiple units at once. AT3 is his high, you copy? Yeah, send it, Mike. Yeah, Mox said he'd come on to fly you guys if you needed it. We've got Nano able to fully fill us full compliment, so I appreciate the effort that Mox did. Hey, from. So again, these are kind of like fake civilians. I'm gonna arm them later. It's just I can't make them hide their fucking handguns. But what I can try to do is a different way. Let me just uh, see if I can arm them real quick. That was remote control. I didn't want that. Yeah, that's fair, Mox. But it's good to give them the option, so I appreciate you coming on. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to creatively hide this motherfucker. Because he won't pull it out if he's not aggroed. So that didn't make it go for everybody like I wanted it to. So let me do some experimentation back and forth here. So it has them all selected. There we go. Now the issue is, I need to make them put it the fuck away. Because it's supposed to be hidden. So, do they keep it hidden? That's the one issue. Yes, they do. Okay. So I literally have to just remote all these guys and hit the zero key. Yeah, Mox, that's why I have them set to careless hold fire, so hopefully they don't pull it out, and if I see that they do, I'm going to have to, um, just quickly arsenal them all and pull, uh, take it away. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set all these guys to, uh, a panic animation. And again, I'm trying to throw them into a curveball. Because again, I'm... I always like to test the boundaries here, you know, do stuff that I've never done before and kind of, you know, throw enemy units under a bus, or no, throw the players under a bus uh, just to experiment. Again, not trying to kill them, that's why these guys aren't armed with like rifles and shit. They're, ha they're fitted with a decent machine gun right here. Sorry, my bird's getting a bit noisy. At least it's not PvP. I really don't like All PvP. Right. Hey. I will say, though, um, in the upcoming Optray campaign we'll have mid-July, uh, it could turn PvP if the players are stupid and fire on the threes, because the threes will be playing as uh, Oni guys. So if that happens, we're going to have a good laugh, because the threes don't miss when they fire back. We saw that last Saturday, uh, Sunday, excuse me, when the, uh, when one of the twos fired at, uh, or, yeah, one of the twos that was the surviving guy in that one town fired on a three, and then the three literally triple tapped his head. That was, uh, in this town up here. It was uh, after I basically walked a dude. Yeah, it was right here. <clears throat> the entire team was down except for one guy that ran off in here and another guy. I was just suppressing that with the PKM. They threw a smoke, so I just walked him up and just mowed everyone else down. And then this one guy fired at a three right there. And the three literally just turned around and triple tapped the dude's face. It was beautiful. So Nano's escorting them in a Blackhawk. Malin is solo crewing that Apache. No, he's with a different pilot. Uh, 
and Druza. So the threes are in the Chinook, and the twos are in that Blackhawk. So I'm going to go ahead and hide myself. And they're going to basically insert down there. Now they're going to come across this area, so what I am going to do is I'm going to start garrisoning stuff around. I normally only do this when I know they've got a... Uh, when I know their insert vector, because I want to try to keep the frames stable as much as I can. However, I always like to uh, throw down some opportunity if I can. They haven't done any drone recon yet, so it's perfectly okay to do this. I just really wish... Yes, perfect. Okay. We can have a two-man sentry going around. There's Daka coming in. Put that right there, and then the forest. Let's start doing our outer garrisons here now that we're around. Hey, Bravo, how many strong are you? And again, I'll be bringing QRF in because I've already got, you know, some pretty nasty vehicles in here. And we'll see how things go. Now, I'm thinking on their insert vector here, I'm going to throw down an off-road. I told them all the 23mm AA was down, but we still have some other vehicles. So I want to see if this Apache... Oh, wow, they found that, like, instantaneously. with those uh, icons. Hi, this is threes. This is high sun traffic. Ready you in broken. Slack is ready. Just got yeeted into the never. Can we get one for him once we get touchdown? Roger. I'll put a box by you because mine are still forks due to something with CBA. Excellent. <laughs> run, run, Rudolph. Santa's gotta make it to town. Damn, if only that Apache could aim. <laughs> How many bullets does it take an Apache to hit a fucking technical? The answer may surprise you. Hey, he's firing back. No, fire some more. Get him. You can do it. If a technical takes down an Apache, we're going to have some serious problems. Swing and a miss, Charlie Brown. So, technical issues I like to fix. However, I can't arsenal players anymore because something fucking updated. And... It's down. Forces, threes, main boots on ground at RLZ, waiting for you guys to touch down and then we'll get moving. Alright, so gave him something basically to engage. Say again for ground. 
ground three is a boots on ground. We're going to start proceeding on tasking. Uh, make a massive fucking noise for us so that we can actually get our shit done faster. Uh, now we're going to do a test. I'm going to put this guy under the Apache and just see what happens. <laughs> Clear his debut. So if he pulls his gun out, then we're gonna have an issue. But if he doesn't, then we're okay. But he shouldn't. He's reacting to it because I saw him tilt. What? How, How do you have the gun out and you're just holding... I've never seen an AI hold it. What the actual fuck? Okay, so... Freeze, uh, turn yeah, around. basically... Go for gun. Uh, we're gonna get across the river, then we're gonna hold position. Wait, why are you holding it? Firestorm, and then we're How do you hold it? Make first contact. How is oh, that even shit. possible? Alright, well that would be cool for roleplay stuff, but... <laughs> God damn! Like, I, I don't... It's this game, man. Just this fucking game. Go for Bravo. Go for Bravo. Are you nearing Alpha's position, or...? Say again, please. Are you near to Alpha's position? Yes, we were on the same alley. We're li I can literally 10 feet away from Alpha. Okay, I thought you were in a different bird. Well, oof to that. Is their way out of my engagement range? They're gonna relay this to CSAT, and CSAT's gonna go, well. Oof to that. <laughs> I would think that that has enough sensors to possibly find that, so... Alpha to ground, uh, this town we're going to, it's kind of... Basically fuck with, uh... Rooftops. Be a bit careful. I understood. We're just gonna push in, get set, and then make some noise. Gonna basically utilize that strategy of... Since there's a fucking ship in the sky, that they can then relay to Boko where... Enemy air assets are. Which in this case is NATO. So, Calum just poked me. Malin is lazing allied infantry. We got this frickin' helicopter. I'd be curious to see if this guy actually will get it. come up and get it. So this is going to actually kick the AO off. 
Uh, my guys across the river on that cross marker now. We're just fucking holding rigid until you guys actually kick off the fire We don't really want to push any further up without exposing ourselves. Yeah, we're getting Alpha close to the town right now. Go for ground, Alpha. This guy's being an the idiot. The uh, technical working thing, and it just crossed the bridge, I believe. I love how these guys speak French. Out of everything to speak, it's fucking French. There's a Nissan 50 PKM southeast of our position. So they're actually calling out the helicopter. So I'm gonna give an order to that machine gunner. See if this guy gets lucky. Otherwise, yeah. That was a big box. Holy crap. Alpha ground, uh, we get to engage. Uh, yes, we're ready to go in. Uh, tier three is waiting until you hear a large firefight. Well, hot command. Am I gonna get that Apache back? Yeah. I'm gonna slap Malin later because he said he <laughs> quotes. I'm not gonna be disconnecting like. You, but... Uh, actually, Andrews has somehow recovered it, even though it... Okay, yeah. <laughs> what? Remind me to slap Malin and he's brief. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's how helicopter physics works, but sure. <laughs> so, it, no, the Dishka didn't kill him. It was, like, the pilot disconnected and it just looked like it. Which, in my opinion, is even better. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ground to Alpha and Bravo. Keep pushing up as possible. Once we get into Don Bravo, Alright, so I gotta basically micro both AOs here, so this will be a nice challenge for myself. It's Andruza, so naturally D Sync is gonna prevent him from blowing up. <laughs> to South African lag switch. Get him off a of defend only. Defend only is the bane of my fucking existence, because if I want them to fucking fire at dudes, they won't. So he's coming back. Gonna go ahead, infantry, Boko Harambe. I'll get out and then seek and destroy. Utilizing holding left control to set a waypoint. I've got the triple one three coming around and the technical assaulted that failed. But Boko Harambe, since they're like a um a rebel esque style we have force, approaching from the southeast. Really, just fast attack and quick mobility are their only advantages, which are quickly brought down by the Apache. Ground T2s. So, ground Go tier 3s, sorry. Um, if you see anything that's pushing southeast bound towards our vector, let us know because we're mainly covering our southeast from there. Oh. Understood. Hey. Thanks, bud. Oh, please don't do this to me, guys. Cool. Sometimes takes them a second. So they're firing back and forth here. 
Oh, they're skylining like a bunch of motherfuckers. There's that Maz shot. Grenadier rounds also. Woo! Yeah, Bloodlust will do that to people. Ain't that nasty. So you're hearing them on that dish guy. All forces be advised, ground is commandeering a Land Rover. So, firing an RPG to the left of their building. She's still detonating. Reinforcements are coming up. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh shit, no. Come on, you fucking... I hope they didn't see that. That would be bad. I hate when They're I break their immersion like that. Uh, all forces, we think we just took IDF. Well, technically you're not wrong. IDF is indirect fire, which means it's any shells coming in. But these people like to call IDF as mortars. So... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna pull these guys in now. Have them pull across. Again, watching that AO like a hawk. This BMP is, uh. interesting. So I'm slowly pulling away more Boko forces from this AO. Uh oh. Have you your boat yet? So I fired those at the worst time to fire them. You never want to fire on an incoming gun run when it's that close because they can easily duck left or right to evade. But I do that so he can survive. This is high, send traffic Apache. Uh, pilot not engineers. Yes, you are. Uh, no, we're not. I think Alpha to the ground. Uh, there are. I've I've set you guys as engineers. Alpha to the ground. There are Igwe chairs in the AO of the T2 area. I don't know why it's been doing that as of, as of recent. I think I have a theory, but it means the class names have changed with the latest update. In which case, I wouldn't be surprised because they pulled a similar thing uh, for the DLC for Global Mobilization, so I'll just have to update. Oh, I have that vehicle pressing in. BMP one to be sure. And we're gonna start pulling units away. T three going calm silent. That one hit. You can hear uh, when a little bird gets hit. Enemy BMP-1 destroyed. So that's the BMP-1 cooking off. These guys are gonna come up to the shooting. These guys are gonna pull back.
So nano smoking. What's nice about the RHS little birds is they can actually take a rocket. Which is crazy to think about. But they can. Keep the fuel in that one. I'm hearing RPGs land possibly due to this vehicle being crewed. I know the AI like to prioritize that. If that's the case, but infantry forces coming in, player, teleport. They're coming into this facility. They get quickly mowed down. What the fuck? They... What? Alright, there's zip time. So this one, now they are doing- Oh my fucking god, these fucking civs are being retarded! Uh, Punch it. Do you still have thermal team punch into this warehouse building? Someone's mad, Ain. Ground, uh, brown forces. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna have an airstrike on the building with the igloo chairs, so stay clear. Okay. All right, so this is the fear of posting all this. Because I know they've, they've never randomly cable tied civs, so I know someone just fucking meta this one pretty hard. So that's a bit, I'm a bit disappointed with them on that, but whatever. Yeah, right on, Mox. Oh. Have a good one. Ground. ground C3s. Go for ground. C3 objective secured. Uh, the power plant's disabled. Understood. Ground Alpha and Bravo start pulling out. Curb, do me a favor, just fucking set a debt charge in that room, set it on a tank. Alright, no, no. Turn it back on if they're regarrison the place. Uh, what, which room? You're on the northeast side. Uh, my understanding is we were only here to make noise for T3s. Well. Again, kind of annoyed, but whatever. This is. I knew that could happen because I gave them, you know, a thing beforehand, so. <sighs> whatever. It's the risk you take. Ground to high. Yeah, do we? This is high. Send traffic. Is my understanding correct that we are not uh, capturing this town, but we were trying to... Uh, I affirm your objective noise. is to merely make noise for the three objective. Once the three objective is completed, you are clear to pull out of the AO at this time. Shut down, let's go. Ground tier threes. Go for ground. I uh, recommend that you don't disengage from contacts until after we get back across the river. Okay, understood. Alpha, Bravo, just keep fighting the good fight until they, uh, get out. Alright, so I've got probably 10 minutes to get everything down before crazy shit happens. So I'm only going to spend another few moments on this. Kajman's going in.
And let's see, cars, M2. Let's get this bad boy in. And set up a few trucks. I'm gonna have her go hold fire. I don't want her engaging from outside of the AO. Yeah, they just put an explosive up there. Alpha, Bravo. Can I get a sit rep? Alpha is setting up an overwatch position on a compound just outside the town. We are to your northwest. Rob is currently holding position on the north perimeter of town, running smoke fire, I'm just pulling distraction. Understood. Ground this fucking T3s. Go for ground. You get a fucking transport bird to uh, cycle it out for us, we're gonna be on LZ in about five mics. Got it. That didn't take a hit. Let's see, fast deploy Viper team. Ground to uh, T3. Two threes, this is JTAC. Mark your rough location where you want my bird to pick you up and just tell them. Just mark a position on the map and I'll take you there. Tell the tell the pilot, same LZs that he dropped his offer. Copy. Uh, wait one. Like, literally, you're all... Break, ground forces, be advised, fucking Cashman due east. Yeah, so I got pulled to fucking go fix his shit. T3, this is JTAC. Uh, he will be about four mics due to Nano RT being uh, Hey, firm, just advise your air call signs for airspace ain't clear. We just had a cashman in the air that we decked. Yeah, uh, Malin was well, well aware. Thank you for your uh, right. concern. Yeah, thanks for telling us about it. I didn't know it until just now. Let me get CSAT set up here. No holds barred. Let's get this shit done. Alpha to ground. Uh, I'm not seeing any more targets in this town. Uh, um, go ahead and uh, start to slowly disengage, but stay in the vicinity. Once we get the go ahead from T3s, if they're clear, we'll start blowing up. Hey, firm. Uh, Alpha still has Overwatch. Ground, you can probably start your XO plan now with T3s or sort of disengage from contacts. Understood. Uh, Alpha Bravo, disengage. We're heading back the way we can. Hey, firm. Alright. War Stones on station. I'm coming to help speed this up. I know exactly where the helicopter's landed at. Basically, a lot of this is going to require some manual shit. I think I deleted my scientist prematurely down there. No, I didn't. Thank fuck. Alright. Get that out of the way. And now it's just all about getting all this shit properly set up. Okie dokie.
Get some guys up on the perimeter fence as well. Ooh, he's got a little bush camo head. That would come in handy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> They're little bush camo heads. Get all the guys in the perimeter fencing. Oh man, I love it. I fucking, by sheer Manage luck, got all the bush heads to uh, be on the perimeter fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to delete this group. Same LZ Garrison. Solid, same LZ moving. No. AFM will be there in about three. And now let's see. Static, artillery. No, 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 Artie. We're going to go to turrets. And I want some AA launchers in this bitch. Alright, cool. Uh, now going with short range garrisons here. That did not work the way I wanted it to. That's okay. Micro adjustments. I utilize this type of AO all the time. Alrighty. That should be good. We'll put a sentry team down. Have that group relax. How are they doing in terms of pullout? Alright, so they've pretty much left that AO. Cars. What the heck is this? Oh, a Gopnik. I like it. Yeah. That's sexy. Let's put some Gopniks in this bitch. Let's try to straighten this one out a little bit. Some Quillins too, that would be dope. Bring you down here. No, we don't need Bocos. And let's get these camps entirely set up. Two trees, I'm on standby at LZ over. Hey, for me, I'll push your LZ up a little bit just to save time. Well, he's marked. He's just uh, to your southwest. Let's get rid of that and uh, replace it with a quill in here. J sector as next time you wanna <clears throat> be moved, say it over 55. Because if I switch channels, it's gonna miss something important, as it just did with the Kajman. I don't care if you have an issue with it. Just make my life easier. Oof. And let's get. This group down here. All right, and then special forces. We'll have a Viper team on back patrol duty. All right, they're still extracting. I got time, so we can do my second phase of this. All right, we're getting our guys to our bird as well, so. Yeah, are you going to need the slow trying to hurry them? Yeah. Are you gonna need RTB or are you gonna be Nah dude, we took like two minutes of engagement, we're good. Okay. Alpha Bravo, what's your status yeah, so on the Vipers supplies and ammunition? Got over there. Alpha is green. Where are the statics? There we go. And Bravo? I love the X key, it lets you stabilize the bullshit that these guys will play. Oh, Ambiguous is joining for part two. Nice. Sorry, guys. Can't reach out too much. I've been pan uh, not panic making this AO, but rather just trying to get all my time in it. So, cars, we're going to do uh, an off road there, a truck over here. 
And then, with crew, put an M2 right smack dab in the middle. Cut her fuel so I don't want her lingering around. And they're starting to come over to this AO. So now I gotta find a good place to kinda... Park the VIX. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Because, you know, how do they get there? Phase two right now, do you want us to hover in the F for you? Uh, the only response I've gotten was from Alpha. They said they were green. If Bravo responds within the next few seconds, we might RTV if they need ammo, but my plan is just go straight to phase two. Understood. We'll get on the LZ, then we'll just wait for you guys to start moving up before we even think about doing anything. Doing things that we're right. fast like you today. Alright, let's get that in. Put some various vehicles on the border. Armored. And let me throw down some sentries. Uh, Alpha Bravo. Should be good. Go. Uh, are you guys aware whether or not the uh, Igla chairs were destroyed or uh, disabled or dismounted? Or I hope they were. I have no idea. I don't even think the strike happened on it. Oh, we got three strikes on it. Two of them missed. One looked like it hit, but we don't well, have any I'm not confirmation. Aware of that. I don't know. So. This is Alpha. We threw an HE round from a Mars uh, at it anyway. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a lock on. I'm not sure if that tank levitated, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of people streaming the ground perspective on this one. It's pretty nice. To say these guys freed these guys. I have them pull back to this area. I'm gonna start deleting bodies. Uh oh, well, it sounds like the AA figured out how to fire. Wow, I couldn't do it, but apparently the AA can uh the AI can hey, Brown, this is warp stall to the next objective. Hearing explosions from the town. Don't know what that could be. Suggest you guys leave immediately. Got background. So yeah, we know they're coming. So what I am gonna do quickly is grab a Quillen. this in their way by doing this. Okay, that's still well within the distortion seat field. But here's the deal, if they start attacking then CSATs or Boko is gonna be called in and they're basically gonna outswarm the enemy. They brought in a Humvee. So they towed hey, that ground, puppy in. Uh, they didn't go in and yeah, find the um, cache though. So for the final Bye. assault, Boko is gonna basically be armed with CSAT guns. So, that's going to be interesting. Hey, Doc, are you planning on getting in this helicopter or driving? No, as I said, I'll see you at the next objective. Understood. Uh, 
Alpha to high, we, uh, what's our destination? Phase two at back to base. This is high, that's entirely up to your ground command, out. All right, I, uh, misspoke, sorry. Uh, ground, that is. Uh, I didn't get confirmation on your ammo status, we're assuming green, oh if you wanna... Or were you Alpha? No, you you said you were green, we're going over there. If Bravo Copy has down. any issues, they're gonna have to Copy figure down. something out, though. Stay firm. I literally, it's Bro, highlighting the fucking button. Uh, ammo and supplies, are you green? We're green. Okay. So if you would be so fucking kind. Uh, ground to D3s, understood. We're still quite a ways out, so it'll be probably about a minute. Ground to warp sun, I have resupply for an entire squad in my movie, so. Uh, understood. Um, Alright, I'm gonna to make our some fucking controls here. Marker. We'll just resupply as needed. Because he's literally driving this in enemy territory, so I really don't know what to say. Boko's gonna be a lot more active. The issue is it's really uh, difficult to simulate this shit. Because, you know, you want to keep the frames good, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm already a bit bummed because of the meta instance, so. That's fine, we'll just uh, keep it going. Maybe, maybe it wasn't meta, maybe T3's updated their policy, but either way, you know, it's just me being butt hurt because I didn't get to do my fun thing. But hey, that happens. So, uh, Ash, thanks so much for the, um, uh, six viewer, uh, host, man. Uh, Appreciate it. I don't know, maybe it shows that I haven't been, uh, playing in TSB for the past, uh, few weeks, because I've been busy with other stuff. So maybe it's an update.